Hey, today I'm gonna show you my Call of Duty Black Ops Mad Cat's controller. Bye. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna show you some little features. The controller is way bigger. It has this cool right here. So it's called Duty Black Ops. The middle is like really different now. It the select button is like really thin and hard. It's not rubber like the other one. As you can see, that the other one is rubber. I got this controller because this one, look, I'm not even going to move it. I'm just going to like, I'm just going in circles. And it's really wobbly. So look at this. See, I just, I just go up and it just stays up. And this one, same thing. It looks retarded. And it has something inside, like, sounds like rocks. It's really good. So, this is really cool, it's really smooth, and there's a SGA, the team from Hanoi, I think, yeah, that skull, it's like really smooth, should be Black Ops right here, they have LED lights, and you don't have to hold the PS button to turn off the controller, all you gotta do is pull the switch um to off. If you if you just want your controller on, just put in the middle. On. And if you want the LED and on at the same time, there we go. I'm gonna turn off my light just 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 to, just to show you the LED lights. It's really awesome. It's shady. It's red, not orange, because I can look at it right now on the camera, and it's orange. Okay, so the D-pad um changed. See how this is like like separate, and this one's all together. It's really cool. The analog sticks are way higher. As you can see, short and high. And this pre this is a precision aim. And that means, like for Call of Duties, if you if you have your sensitivity on ten, it brings it up more like 12 but it doesn't say it all you gotta do is just go like that and then it's really high it has another skull right here the X square circle and triangle button are really different right now it has like lines between them circle on the bottom triangle on the bottom line on the square on the bottom in the middle on the X this one is just normal and this is a really cool feature behind the controller first I'm gonna show you like the the really good cool graphics it's mad cats right there and Tri Treyarch right there plus I hate you Treyarch Treyarch freaking Shot the guy like six times with the L96 and he didn't die. Let's we put them. All right, these combat buttons is if your con controls in the front doesn't work. Well, some of them you could you could change them from the back. It says R3. That's um knifing. So, R3 is right here, and right here. So, if your knifing button doesn't work right here, then press this one, 
and it should work. It's really cool. So you, all you gotta do is like look around and then just press the button right on the in the back. You use your middle finger or whatever finger you want. And it's the same thing as Combat One. So it's just two. For me, I should use the knifing and the slow button so I could get more accuracy. Yeah. And that should be it. It's really cool. Yeah. Peace.